Storm Tracker picking up on some of these showers. They weaken as they get a little further to the south, and then by the midnight hour, all is gone. We started over again tomorrow. Not as much or as numerous in nature, but you see some showers here around 2 o'clock and probably lingering on and off till about 6 o'clock. And then as we get into Monday, well, hardly anything, but right along I-95 with the sea breeze, we may pick up a couple of little remote showers. So for tonight, our forecast is as such in the Savannah area. Not too bad. <clears throat> we'll see temperatures uh, sliding and, and holding into the 70s throughout the evening hours, and it should remain dry for the remainder of the day and night in Savannah. Tomorrow, 9 o'clock, Father's Day, mostly sunny, 80 degrees. By noon, warm and humid, 88 degrees out there. And by 5 p.m., again, maybe an isolated spot shower in and around the Savannah area at 84 degrees. Now we have the watermelon festival going on up in Hampton County in Hampton. Tomorrow, an isolated shower, 90 degrees. Monday, partly cloudy, 92. When we warm up to 94 under mostly sunny skies on Tuesday. Here's a look at the extended forecast. You can see the numbers. Our best chances of showers will be now tomorrow and going into Monday. Tuesday, I only have about a 10% chance of a, a, an isolated shower or two. But once we hit Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, the weather story is going to be not so much the rain and the storms. It's going to be more of the heat and the excessive heat with temperatures well into the middle 90s and with heat indices running above 100 degrees.